Good morning, Facebook. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a great day, had a good weekend, all of that. Um, yeah, I wanna share with you. So let me know in the comments below, have you seen the, the uh, Netflix special by Brene Brown? Uh, Brene Brown is somebody who I've followed. I've actually seen her speak live. Um, I've read a couple of her books. She's the author of Daring Greatly and uh, what's the other one? I'm halfway through Rising Strong and I'm, I definitely read like several books at the same time. So I have like probably 12, you know, half written books. <laughs> Anyways, I had kind of like this epiphany this morning because I'm doing a, a book study with my team right now and it's all about social media. It's freakishly effective social media for um, people in my field and I was on this part and I'm gonna be kind of a little bit of a, a spoiler alert for those of you who are in the book club because I try to stay ahead. Um, but it was talking about something along the lines of vulnerability where it was talking about, you know, letting people be themselves is totally duplicatable. And I tried to make sure that, you know, that my team knows like the non-spammy way of sharing. We're all about connecting, we're all about problem solving and really loving on people and helping people through their issues, through whether that's being a part of the team or it's being on one of our products that can help enhance their health, right? And so as I was watching the Netflix special, which I did in like three different incre increments, just because that's what worked for me, um, I turned it on the other night and it was talking about this, this word called foreboding. And that's a word that I'm familiar with. I've heard Joyce Meyer talk about it before. And basically what it, what it means is like, and you've probably all experienced this, is like when things are going really well and you're feeling like, hey, you know, we're on the right track. And then all of a sudden you're waiting for the, for the, shoot, the next shoe to drop where you're like, all of a sudden you feel good. And this, they talk about this in the book, The Big Leap as well, where our mind doesn't want to accept the fact that things are going well. And so we make up ideas and stories about what should go wrong. So, you know, if you have children, maybe you're like, oh my gosh, everything's going great. Like, and then you start thinking that something bad's gonna hap happen to your kid or something, you know, somebody's gonna get in an accident. This happened to me just the other day as I was driving and I had my little guy with me and we were just running an errand. And immediately in my mind, I thought, you know, I need, I need to be really safe. I like, I don't wanna, you know, crash the car. I don't wanna like not be paying attention. And I went into this like worry fear zone, right? And then what made it even worse is my husband called me and he's like, I wanna make sure that you're, you're driving really careful. For some reason I had a feeling that, you know, whatever. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, like am I gonna get in an accident? But it made me think like two things. I feel like when you're, you know, with your spouse, sometimes energetically you can feel what each other is kind of going through at the time. So we can maybe pray for each other or, you know, just think happy thoughts. <laughs> but he was thinking, you know, kind of along the lines of the same thing that I was thinking. But this is the this is the the quote that really resonated with me and it's kind of towards the end of the special. Um, a little bit. So she said, when we lose our capacity for vulnerability, joy becomes foreboding. And that just like struck me. So I'm like, that is so true. When we lose our capacity to be, to lean into joy, to allow ourselves to actually accept that things are going really well and to be like, wow, you know, I'm going to enjoy this moment and I'm going to fully enjoy it and I'm going to fully give myself to it. But instead, we stop ourselves and we're like, you're not allowed to feel that good. You're not allowed to feel that much joy. And most likely if things are going so well right now, then something's gonna go bad. And so when I read that, when we lose our capacity for vulnerability, joy becomes foreboding. And then she goes on to say that the, the antidote for this and the only variable, and she does everything by research. So although a lot of these things are very like emotional, and all of that, she researches shame and courage and all of that, which is why you know I'm fascinated by the things that she finds. But the one variable that allows a person to lean into joy and not go into that like fear and panic mode is gratitude. So gratitude is the one thing. And then I, st I started thinking to myself, 
you know, have I been doing my gratitude practice? And then my friend Karen did a Facebook Live the other day and I was like, and she talked about kind of a similar thing. And it's like, I have fallen out of that a little bit. And it's like, we need to make sure that we're doing that practice, writing out, you know, five to seven, maybe 10 things a day that we're grateful for. So we're in that constant state of allowing ourselves to feel and allow, allow our bodies, the, the physiology, and she talks about this, vulnerability is a physiolo physiological change. Like that's the way that, like we feel it. We feel it in our bodies. And in, and what I, the way that I took it anyways, is that the more that we're practicing gratitude, the more our, our physical bodies are going to almost be immune to the things that are going to try to derail our thoughts, whether it be the fear or the worries or whatever. So hopefully this is landing. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Crystal. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I don't know how this is going to come out, but I just wanted to share that takeaway because I think um, for myself, it was definitely a reminder that I want to feel more joy. And if I'm not feeling joy and if I'm allowing myself to go into that space of worry, then it just means that I'm not, you know, being diligent with my practice of gratitude. And it could be just a five minute practice every day. And I, I'll be honest, I kind of got out of that practice. So um, I'm gonna start doing that again when I wake up in the morning and just really make an effort. And if anybody wants to do it along with me, like feel free um, because I think it definitely can make a difference for, for everybody. So that's my message today. Um, lots of exciting stuff coming up. I'm heading out to Dallas the end of the week here. Um, we've got our new fat loss product um, launching. They are, there are gonna be three different differentiators between this product and maybe some of the other weight loss, fat loss products out on the market. So if you're interested in getting in the know, just like I'm interested, that's why I'm going to Dallas to learn all about it. If you wanna know more about it once it launches, I'll be going live in our Healthy Lifestyle group if you wanna be a part of it feel free to reach out. I'm happy to add you in there. Um, if you want to learn more about, you know, what we're doing inside our team, hi Joy, what we're doing inside of our, our team, um, and some of the books that we're reading, some of the things that we're learning just to grow as individuals and um, through personal development and different ways of doing things the right way, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to have a conversation. So have a great Monday and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.